Okay, first thing we're going to do is create the keyboard for the using Remote Touch Keyboard Maker. You'll find that in your Remote Touch installation menu. Okay, Remote Touch Keyboard Maker comes with four panels, two for portrait, two for landscape. Um, so here we're going to set up the keys for Windows Preview. So y you can choose various things. You can choose key events, up and down, key press, mouse events, like right click, left click, mouse move. Um, so every time you want to change something, you select, you select the key you would like to change, and you, s you choose what you'd like to set it to. Um, yes, Windows Preview has, as you can see on the corner, it has about six keys that we want to use. It's next for the next photo. Uh, previous is for the previous one. Full screen will make Windows preview. Pick up the full screen. Normal is go back to its original size. Then we can rotate the picture clockwise and anti clockwise. Mm. Uh, Remote Touch Keyboard Maker lets you copy and paste keys very quickly, so you can use your shortcut keys, Control C, Control V, to quickly copy keys. Um, you can copy across panels. Yeah, so here we we finished entering all the six keys that we want the Windows Preview keyboard to have. Um. There we go, I think we're done. Now generally you want to copy from your portrait to landscape, generally you just want a simple change. So there, if you go to edit, you can quickly copy across from portrait to landscape as we've just done. Uh, we don't need the other panels, they're only if you have a ton of keys and you cannot fit them in any one. Okay, so we're done, we saved them to our desktop somewhere. The second part is installing the keyboard onto your mobile phone. This is my mobile phone, HTC Touch. Go to File Explorer. You can see there's we don't have that particular keyboard that we want to install. You go to Remote Touch. You're gonna use that to transfer the new keyboard to the mobile. First thing you gotta do is change the download directory so it, it downloads the new keyboard directly to the Remote Touch key Remote Touch folder. Go select it. Connect. Okay, so now we can transfer the file using the new OSD. So we've already transferred it. Now we'll exit. You can see the new file there. Now, when you restart Remote Touch and you pull up the OSD, there you go, you can see testing now there. and this is the keyboard we just made, you'll notice that uh, Remote Touch combines all the keys that are nearby with the same name like next and previous to make it bigger buttons okay now we are ready to test this on Windows Preview using our mobile phone so here we have a folder full of wallpapers, let's preview it bring up a testing keyboard here we go that's my monitor press the full screen and there you go the wallpaper is now full screen you can press next to go to the next wallpaper and press uh, previous to go back um, okay there you can rotate but it's just past the dialog whether you always want to rotate or not press yes and now we can we can rotate with 
using our mobile phone as well keep going to the next one previous um, yeah there you have it now you can do the same with any keyboard for any application that you want using remote touch keyboard